my name is called Puna Akhtar and I'm from Bangladesh and the center I work for is called Bangladesh Center for Workers Solidarity. Our most worker uh, work is with garment workers because this is the biggest workforce we have in Bangladesh. And we are exporting 12 to 15 percent of our total ex garment export that we export to Walmart. I started to work when I was just 12 and a half years old. So I, start, well, I started as a sewing machine helper and the working condition was so bad. I used to get three and a half dollars for 208 hour work. So it's very often we've been slapped by supervisors working 23 days in a row and barely could sleep two, three hours in the production floor. So in compared to that, today is, there is some improvement, but still our workers are getting poverty wage low wage in the world, of course. Um, they are often facing um, threat by the factory management and even they lose, uh, of, often they lose their jobs whenever they try to raise their voices in the factory. And moreover, we have really a very unsafe working condition. One worker named Josna, she jumped from 11th story building when she saw all the doors, emergency doors or fire taxis doors are locked and the main exits are broke into the fire, broke into the fire. So she couldn't barely rescue herself. She thought that she couldn't save herself jumping from the 11th story building, but she jumped for death. In last year, when workers were raising prices for $71 minimum wage per per month for 208 hour work. There was a lot of movement across the all industrial belt where the garment factory is located. But what happened? The factory owners and the government, they said it is unrest. And they have been filed 11 different false criminal charges against us. They have arrested us. We have been interrogated interrogated 11, 18, 18 hours in a row. My colleague Babul, he has been tortured. I mean, he has been beaten badly in the poli uh, police custody when he was taken remand for interrogation. And in during that time, Walmart subcontractor factory management was present there when he was beaten. And among 11 cases, four has been filed by Walmart subcontractor factories. We barely did not get any help from Walmart. So for our torture, I should say that Walmart is responsible. They should tell their vendor to drop the charges against us. And I know that if they want, they can make change.